What's good with you? I'm Cartier Dame, and I'm with Nifty World. Bad white bitch, and I think she a Vanessa. Uh, and I think her name Vanessa. Roger dick so good, I save her number and her Tesla. Talk like she play ball, she pitch the issue, I'ma catch her. Uh, let me get this right. Uh, don't put your lips around my mic. Uh, let me see how you do it. She so my soul, cause she her soul in my music. I'm Cartier Dame. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Carson, California. I grew up in Carson, California. I moved to Carson when I was five. I stayed there my whole life. <laughs> Never left. <laughs> As a kid, it was cool, you feel me? I like grew up with the same dudes. Like we still friends to this day, 15 years plus, man. Like it was cool though. Like we grew up in this little gated community in Carson. We used to run around there all day, you feel me? We got like teenagers, we used to get high like every day in there, bro, we be chilling. Uh, I went to Gar, it's in Cerritos. My mama had worked out that way, so I was just down there, you know, fucking with them. Growing up, it was cool, you feel me? It was just me, my mom, my sister, my grandpa. You feel me? We lived in the same place my whole life, then moved to like a bigger house, like down the street from there. We was chilling. You feel me? All through high school, everything was great. So I started making music when I was like 15, like right after my 15th birthday, my homie had this makeshift studio in his house. We had made a song and they, they had played that shit on the ox in the car. And I was like, all right, I'll make music now. I was this shit hard. Uh, so I've been making music since like ever since that day. So like August when I was like 15, then I went back to school. I didn't have no songs. I tried to make a bunch of songs at the same time. That shit was crazy. but. You know, I, I, I love this shit, man. Like, this shit get me going, keep me going every day. Feel me? I got another blunt in me, dog. I'm always working. She always twerking. That's that shit that make me nervous. Me and God had a talk. You're not far off. You have to crawl before you ball. And that stuck with me, dog. I'm different. There ain't nobody like me. I feel like a uh, couple things I can say, you know, like, I really talk that fly shit, you know, I talk that get rich shit. Like, I'm trying to inspire people, you know, to go after what they want. Like, that's me, you feel me? All while being the coolest nigga on the block, you feel me? I'm the young black Hugh Hefner. <laughs> like, come on, it don't get more player than that. And my biggest inspirations, uh, Kanye forever, cause Kanye, you feel me? Kanye just, he's that guy, you know, like, his story and how he came up to the music he's making, you know, at the caliber he's been making it for all these years, it's fucking crazy. Uh, I feel like without Drake, I probably wouldn't make rap music like I make rap music, but I'm nothing like them. And then shout out Dooley, cause I watched, you know, I watched his come up. That shit made me want it hard. That shit made me want it hard, man. Like, you know, like he teach you to get after it. So my niggas inspire me, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Cartier. Expensive. When you think Cartier, you think expensive off the rip. Then you bust it down and you get me. You get what I'm saying? I'm Cartier because I'm expensive and Dame is my name. The biggest challenges for me probably would be like, you know, promotion, trying to get that money and stuff it in the right section. You get me? Like when you're independent and you're independent, like we independent on everything independent, then, you know, you got to stuff money in certain places. It's, you know, that gets kind of slimy sometimes, but you know, you're going to push through it and still make the best music and get it out the best way you can. I would say like I do a bit of both. I freestyle everything and then, you know, I go back and then rewrite filling in lines where I got to fill in lines. Like, I'm not afraid to say, you know, I write and freestyle, but most of this shit do come off the top of my head. Just, you know, the shit that I'm thinking, the shit that I'm going through. Freestyling is, you know, how we, you know, get the initial idea and the sound, you know, where we want to go. I feel like I write to perfect my music. You get me? I'm always in album mode. Every time I'm in the studio, I'm thinking about a different body of music that this, you know, can possibly go on. We don't use everything, but you know, we always in album mode. We always keep them tucked. It might be a freestyle. It might be, you know, some shit that we, you know, freestyle written down, really fixed up. You get what I'm saying? But we just got songs. We making music out here, you know? They got me on some double XL shit, no beat around. I feel like niggas wanna see me, they wanna see me down. But I've been getting down. Clown niggas act like clowns. But I'm a ball man, feeling like I'm spawdin'. Dedication to all this shit. This for my mom's name. I'm feeling like LeBron James. Can't nobody stop me. I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cocky. And this bitch like my wrist, cause it's icy. She can't never find niggas that's like me. Cause it ain't no nigga quite like me. Uh, this should get real easy, dog.
Uh, this shit get your sleazy, dog. Niggas gonna believe me, dog. Uh, tell her she a bitch just like a female dog. Uh, tell her suck my dick, but don't forget the boss. I got some shit coming with Dooley DeVoe. I got some shit under wraps, you know. I do a lot of shit on the side. My newest shit probably coming with Dooley DeVoe. That's the shit you gonna get first. I got some shit on the way. A whole project that's just me. You know, eight songs all the way down on some crazy shit. I grew up listening to Kanye West and Eminem was my favorite rapper when I was a kid. And my favorite rapper always shifts, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just, ah, he came out with some hot shit. I got a lot of favorite rappers, but Eminem was like crazy when I was a little kid and it got me into it. Kanye was crazy when I was a kid and it got me into it. And once I got to understand it more, Kanye started taking over because I could realize all the shit that he actually does within his music. Like, I'm like, oh, this shit is nuts. Drake had his time in my life is like, you know, the nigga that I'm listening to, the, you know. And I take everything that I'm listening to into my music and kind of shape it in there. Like, it's influences of everybody. Like, I fucking love Michael Jackson, you know. It's shit that, you know, Michael Jackson does that inspires me in my music. The first album I ever owned, on God, I think it was a, a Bow Wow album. On God, like, Bow Wow had that album. What the fuck is that album? Fuck, um, he had this fucking album, bro, and I had an Xbox, the first generation one, bro. I probably was like five or six years old, and I downloaded that bitch onto my Xbox and used to play that shit underneath, like, NBA Live 07. <laughs> oh, God. I do have a project coming soon. It is called I Love Bitches. Um, it's eight songs, you know, mostly produced by the same people, everything in-house, you know. Uh, we got a couple videos and singles on the way for that, you know, trying to get that shit out. OG Abby did a majority of the tape. I think he only had one song that wasn't on there. And then my boy, my boy Eric from Carson, you know, that's my that's my brother till we go down. Captain Lotus, gang gang, you know, he got the the only song that's not on there. That's that's him, the city shit. I want Grammys. I want it all. I want to be the best ever. I want somebody to look up to me the way that I look up to Kanye. I want somebody to be like, wow, he really said something in his music to make me feel this certain type of way. And like, you know, as cheesy as it sounds, I want to be held on that pedestal because I love the pressure. I, I want that pressure, you know, that monkey to be off my back to say that I did it. I was the best to ever do this shit. This project is fun, it's real, it's sad, it's happiest player, I'm real player. I'm a real player. I'm gonna really tell you what it's like to, you know, live like this. It's about a bunch of different women. That's why I call it I Love Bitches. And I don't mean bitches in a bad way, you get what I'm saying? Like, in no disrespectful way, because I really do love women. But, you know, like, I gotta give you that point. Like, I love bitches. I gotta get straight to the point on it, you know what I'm saying? And that's coming soon. Real, real soon. Judgy bitch, I call it Judy. Wanna lock me down because I'm perfect Nothing like a groupie And that's why our relationship ain't working She wanna lay up And I wanna ball lay up She don't wanna stay away, no And I can't even blame her I love bitches I'm independent, yeah, we got management. You can tap in on my page, you feel me? I got I got some people, you know, that's gonna hold right by me and we, we, we booking right now, hit us up. Right now, I don't got no shows coming up, but, um, you know, we, we really just going, we like keeping, you know, dead focus on this album, trying to get it out, you know, a little album EP type deal. We trying to get these videos out to the people. Uh, we got some big shit coming with that. We've been working with some uh, some good people on the video side. Shout out AJ Kane. We got two really, really good videos coming. Hey, mumble rap is dead. Like, if you can't rap, don't... <laughs> if you can't rap, stop saying you rap. If you not a lyricist, stop saying you a lyricist. <laughs> like, stop playing, bro. Y'all niggas is making music for the clubs, and that shit cool, but, like, it's people that do it, you feel me? to get a point across, to really say something, you know? Like, explain their story. Like, don't take it away from those guys. That's all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the team, everybody, you know, that's been playing their part, you know, in the shit that we got going on. 
shout out Dooley, shout out OG Abby. You know, shout out my boy Eric, shout out my boy AJ, and shout out everybody that, you know, worked on the project, period. You know, if I forgot you, you know, shout out to you too, because we love you. And we just really trying to do something special over here. And I'm really faded right now, so don't think I don't love you. Yeah. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter, at Cartier Dane. You can follow me on Instagram, at Cartier Dane. And I don't have any more social media than that. Oh, my YouTube is also Cartier Dane. Everything is Cartier Dane. Whatever. Look me up on anything. You're going to find me as Cartier Dane.